Hello, my name is Dave Bess, and I'm the headmaster of Bion Christian School, and I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. My wife and I, Debbie, will be celebrating Christmas in Albany for the first time this season. And when we get ready for Christmas, our family has a tradition of decorating the Christmas tree, and I'm sure you do the same. Part of our tradition is that we take handmade ornaments that the children have made through the years, and we have some of those Hallmark series uh, decorations, I'm sure you have a few of those. And then the ornaments that we've inherited from our moms and our dads and grandparents, we put those on the tree. And as we hang those ornaments on the tree, we talk about the memories that those ornaments represent. But we have one special tradition in our family that we enjoy every year. One of our children, one of our four children, has the honor of putting on a handmade star on the top of the tree. And we write the child's name on the back of that star after they put that ornament on the tree. So we look to see who's child, which child is next, and then we pick them up. I pick them up, and they're usually a little child, and they hold the star, and they're all excited, and I'll pick them up, and we'll hold them up to the top of the tree, and they put that star on the tree. And that's one of our family traditions that we enjoy in the best family. I don't know if you're like me, but during the Christmas season, the hustle and the bustle, the Christmas decorations, the purchasing of gifts, the wrapping of the gifts, and the Christmas parties becomes, create such a busy atmosphere that I forget sometimes the true reason for the season. And I'd like to read to you a portion of the Christmas story from the book of Luke. Then the angel told her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Now listen, and you will conceive and give birth to a son, and you will call his name Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary asked the angel, How can this be, since I have not been intimate with a man? The angel replied to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. As you celebrate Christmas, as you open the gifts on Christmas morning, I trust that you and your family and your loved ones will take time to remember the true reason for this season. That Jesus Christ, the Son of God, was born a baby in a manger, and he grew up and died on a cruel cross, that we might experience the true gift of God, his gift of salvation to us. So from the best family to the Bind family, and to all of our friends, we wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.